Okay, Anja, round two. I think you'll like this one a little bit more. This is my parents' neighborhood. Here's my dirty car. Uh, this house was built, I think, in 2004. They're the second owners. They bought this in about 2008. So they've had it almost 10 years. And they have the nicest yard in the whole neighborhood by far. And I'll show you. Um, here's that wisteria I was talking about. It's not in bloom right now, but it's a beautiful plant. She's got a whole, she likes rusty stuff. My mom loves rust, so. All these succulents. And the lawn is perfectly green year round, which is rare in California, certainly in my little town. So here's the front porch. You can tell she likes little antiques. And she has a much better house for succulents because it's really shady. It doesn't get as hot. Look, you can see all these tropical plants she's growing. And uh, I always thought this thing was funny because it looks like a little slave boy. And I can't believe my mom has this by her front door, but hey, that's her. <laughs> all right, let's try going inside. All right. This is... Oops. Coming in, Ma. You're on camera. Coming in. Anyway, uh, this is the entry room that barely ever gets used. Um, huh? Close the door. Okay, close the door. Uh, but it's good for parties. People like to hang out there. And we have a big upstairs. And then my mom loves antique stuff of any kind. That's her thing. She goes to these little fairs. And then there's the bathroom, the dining room. And I miss mom all covered in dirt. Oh. Hi. Hey mom. Say I'm hi. I'm all covered in dirt because I've been gardening. Yep. She's been <laughs> fighting the moles all day, replanting some stuff. Mm Here's -hmm, the dining room. Look at this 30 foot ceiling. I'm going to go wash up. All right. See you in a bit. It's a beautiful room. Good for entertaining. This is why she throws block parties for the whole neighborhood. Perfect little laundry room. Oh, watch, even the garage. Even the garage is anally clean. John, you out here? Nope. The cars, mom's little workout station. John's obsessed with cycling. There's always his bikes. Here's his whole Man cave bicycle repair station. And let's work our way back in. Oh, the kitchen. You already said you like the kitchen. I'll show you that. I love kitchen islands and granite and these kind of tiles. Whenever I get a house, it's gonna have that. And uh, I've actually had to redo a lot of the paint in the interior, even though this house is pretty new. My mother, as you can tell, everything has to match perfectly. Nice little gas fireplace. This is actually effectively the living room. They got this giant house and they've got this little TV. And that's their thing. Hey, John. Hey. Wanna make my way out to the backyard? There you go. All right. Uh, because mom wanted it to look nice. You can turn it off. <laughs> She's, you know how she is. Hold on, let me open this. There we go. Here's the backyard. This is my favorite part of the house. It's got a little pond here. Full of water plants. She actually had a bunch of tree frogs in here a couple months ago. She was uh, catching them. There was a couple hundred of them. And I think eventually they got picked off by birds and stuff. Unfortunately, um, this right here is the weeping cherry tree that was dedicated to my friend, the arborist, who died about a year ago from cancer. Uh, it's doing quite well, even though it looks sad. And then we got Japanese maples all around. These are birch trees, which are just like aspen trees and alders with the white bark. And the characteristic leaves. And um, this is actually a beautiful flowering tree called a red bud. And it's got this burgundy foliage in the fall and it has these beautiful pink flowers in the spring. Um, 
This is where my parents have been replanting all day because the moles and the voles have been digging and killing some of their stuff. I think these are called horse grass or something like that. Those are kind of neat, but they need a ton of water. And I like how she's training this little vine to grow up this little rusty parasol deal. Even this little side area that never gets used is perfect. It's like over the top, but we got some succulents in here. You might like some of those. And I don't know what these hedges are, but they all match perfectly all around the property. These things right here, coyote rollers. They keep out the coyotes. And they keep the cat in actually. And I'm sure you're familiar with these on tropical islands. They're there to keep rats out and, and squirrels actually here, mostly squirrels. She's got lots of chimes, bird feeders. This place attracts a lot of different birds. The neighbor's yards aren't nearly as nice here. Look, take a quick look at the neighbor's yards, my friends. It's all fake grass and there's really no trees or flowers. My parents spend a lot of time out here. And I don't blame them because it's pretty nice. Oh, so on this end, we got the morning glories. These are the morning glories. They bloom a lot more in the spring. This, this place doesn't get too much sun, but uh, it's a nice little fence hedge. And we got another little collection of succulents over here. And, oh, up here's another flowering tree. It's called a crepe myrtle. They're nice, but they shed a lot and they're a pain in the butt to clean up after. And then out here, we've got the portico. And it's good for entertaining. It's a, it's actually a gas fireplace right there to take the lid off, so it's really nice. Oh, and this is where she hatched the frogs. And they sat there safely for a couple weeks and then she moved them over to the big pond and that's unfortunately where they all died. Anyway, Quick tour of the place. Uh, Mom's upstairs changing, so she doesn't want me to go up there. I'll probably take some photos, but you get the idea. It's a nice place, huh? All right, just for you, Andre.